Hi everyone! Today I want to share a fun new stamp set from the Celebration catalog called Party Pandas. If you're not familiar with Celebration, it is a annual sale that Stampin' Up! puts on where we have a selection of exclusive products available for a limited time that you can only get when placing a $50 order or more in the U.S. So this is Party Pandas and it's one of the options that you can get with a $50 order and it is probably going to be one of the most popular options because it is just adorable. There are a lot of um, stamp sets, ribbons, paper, note cards and envelopes, there's even a card kit and even a die set in the Celebration catalog this year. So I'm going to show you Party Pandas and we're actually going to use some paper that's available in the Celebration catalog too. You can see the entire Celebration catalog at my blog bethspapercuts.com and you'll be able to see the full selection there and get all the information you need. So here is this Party Pandas card that I made. I'm going to show you this little one. There's a new product in the spring um, catalog, the Spring Occasions catalog that's called Mini Note Cards. I think they're called Long Narrow. Let me see what they're actually called. Narrow Note Cards and Envelopes. And you get a packet of note cards. These are folded in half to fit in these cute little narrow envelopes. And you get a set 20 note cards and 20 envelopes. Very nice. So that's in the annual, I mean in the Occasions catalog that comes out in January. And I just thought these little envelopes were adorable, so I wanted to make a card that fit into it. So I didn't use the included note card, um, but that is cute. Think of the cute little notes you can send in that. But I did use the um, envelope. I just thought it was adorable and I wanted to make a card that fit inside. So this is the card I came up with for that. And it's this cute little panda, and the stamp has him holding one balloon, but I've added some more that pull him up into the air as you open the card. You can see I'm going to talk about this little problem in a moment. <laughs> so lift him up and you've got a fun little birthday card that you can include in a package or a bag and it's just adorable. Such a fun little card and then I added some of this paper to the envelope and the base of the card. And that paper is from the Celebration Catalog as well and it is called Bubble and Fizz. I knew that and I wanted to double check. <laughs> I always doubt myself. So it's this fun soda pop paper and there's this main page. It's got the soda pops on it but then it also has lots of patterns. Look at this pretty lemon lime twist, daffodil delight, cute little soda pops. I love this little burst of bubbles, little soda pop lids, little hearts, nice stripes. There's good backgrounds on one side and, and then fun um, images on the other. So it's really, really fun paper. I love this stripe particularly. Anyway, it's a very fun paper. Here's the one I used. And that's one of the free offerings during celebration as well. So I made this little card and while I think it is adorable, it's not really good to put in the mail because of the small size. So this would be great to leave on a coworker's desk or add to a gift bag or um, give to a teacher or somebody you're going to hand a gift to. Um, so then I decided to make it a little bigger so that it fits into a standard size envelope. So that's what this one is. And we'll go through both sizes. So I'm going to give you some tips on a few things. First of all, when gluing the pieces together, I got a little overzealous and I glued my white layer to my Bermuda Bay layer with some liquid glue and I kind of put a lot on there so there was really no give when opening and closing. So because it was so tight when I opened and closed it enough times it started to rip and it ended up, I, in order to get it to open flat uh, my daughter like pulled it really tight and then it ripped right there and I had to put another layer on top. So um, you want to not adhere it super tight. So what I did on this one, and you can see this one has plenty of play, is I only added sticky here and here. There's nothing behind here so that it gives it lots of play and you've got room for it to maneuver when it opens and closes. Now another problem though I made on this card, you'll see that my edges are rough. So you know how you score a card and you've got peaks and valleys and your scorer um, makes a little peak or a valley depending upon where you score. So, the, 
give you an example. So here I scored it and there's a little valley here and a little peak here. Now the best way to, to fold is to fold away from, so like the peak is on the inside. So when folding this card, my first layer was on the inside, but then my second one, I just moved the card stock forward and scored the next line. But one is going this way and the other is going that way. Now, normally it's not a huge deal, but because this gets a lot of opening and closing, see my daughter played with this for quite a bit, um, that rough edge is really showing, isn't it? <laughs> so on my sample card, I scored it the opposite ways, or we're gonna do it together. So let's get started on this little card. Okay, so I don't know what kind you want to make. I don't know if you want to make a big one or a little one. So I'm going to give you the measurements for both. And I don't, there we go. <laughs> okay, so on the smaller card, your base is going to be, uh oh, it fell off. Okay, on the small card, the base of the card, I'm using Bermuda Bay, and it's two and a half across by 11. And then I scored it at four and a half, flipped it, and score it at seven and three fourths. Okay, and then on the inside, the measurement now is two and a quarter by ten and a half, scored at four and a quarter by seven and a half. Four and a quarter by seven and a half. Now on the large one, the base of the card is five and a half by eleven scored at four and a quarter and seven and five eighths. And the inside white piece is five by ten and a half, scored at four and seven and three eighths. So these measurements are gonna be at my blog, bestpapercuts.com. I have a still photo there of this and that way you'll be able to um, focus in on it if you need to. So let's get started in making the card. I'm gonna make the big one together. First I started with a piece of scrap Whisper White to stamp my main panda that floats away. There we go. Now from here, I cut him out and then I layered him onto the card like so, and then for these balloons, I just stamped a bunch of additional balloons onto designer series paper and cut them out. That's what I did on this one. On this one, I wanted more balloons, but I actually stamped them at the exact same time by just cleaning the stamp really well and only inking up the black. And I'll do that real quick just so you can get an idea. So then, I just inked up the balloon part, and it's easy to do because it stands so much taller. And I added a balloon here, and a balloon here, and then I drew in, like I continued this little string to the little panda's paw and added a little string dangling down and that's how I added the balloons on the small one and then I just colored them in. So for the large card I inked up my panda Oh, look, it's tilted. It must have been when I cleaned him. Now the balloon is kind of tilting. That's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, so then I just cut him out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll speed up the video while I cut out my pandas. Okay, so my panda's going to go on to white, so I didn't mind that I didn't cut along these strings or in between here because he's going to be mounted onto a piece of Whisper White, and you don't even really notice. So that's that little guy. In fact, if you wanted, you could cut 
the little hand right off and then do all these balloons separately too. That would be perfectly good. Okay, to make some more balloons, I just inked up only the balloon portion of the panda stamp. And I just made myself a whole bunch of balloons. Once again, I'm going to speed up the video while I cut out all these little balloons. Okay, I have all my little balloons cut out. So let's go ahead and put together the inside of our large card. I start with a piece of the same designer series paper, and I'm going to go ahead and use the stars on the front. I think they're cute. And then I'm going to use this little panda on the inside as well. Since this is a larger card, I can fit two pandas on this one. And I've placed him just above the strip here. And then I'm going to add the happy birthday. Okay, now the Party Panda set also has this cute little confetti, so I'm going to use my markers to, to um, ink that up. And I'm using colors straight from the papers, so I'm using Bermuda Bay and Calypso Coral. Now the paper has Daffodil Delight. I'm going to use Crush Curry on the marker just because when I marker these little tiny areas they just don't show up as bright because it's so small and the marker just doesn't saturate the ink as the uh, stamp as much. So I'm going to use um, Crushed Curry and it still looks like Daffodil Delight on that little stamped image so it's okay. make it look like he's throwing some confetti around. And then I'm going to color in his hat. So now we're going to go ahead and add our panda. So we want the panda to be sitting on these stars but not attached to the star. So you're going to glue it down, leaving his little behind hanging over. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and attach it to my base so I know where everything is going to be. And I'm going to do it while in the folded position. So I'm going to put my adhesive here attach it and then oops. and then I'm gonna open it and close it a few times make sure it's not too tight see when I open it it kind of lifts apart a little bit and that's okay but had I put lots of glue on all these parts it would have just kind of started ripping and tearing Okay, so Panda's going down. I'm going to use Dimensional so he pops up just a little bit. So I'm going to put them on the back of his head. And, but, uh, his body, but just not down by his bottom leg there. There, and eventually I will put one behind the balloon, but I wanted to um, tuck some behind it before. Now I'm just going to place these little balloons that I cut out. So I'm going to decide which one I want on him and I'm going to go with the cute little bubble bursts. All right, then we're just going to tuck some behind. Maybe another one? Hmm. I'm going to leave it like that. 
on the inside I'm going to add another balloon like this one's getting away kind of got lost there okay and now I'm going to take my basic black marker and I'm going to add the strings going towards his little paw and then you don't need to add every string so you've got um, six balloons because some of them could be behind him but you do want to add a few little ties there that's good oops don't forget the one on the inside there we go and then for the front you can add another bit of those little sprinkles or you can add some enamel shapes like I've done here I'm gonna add the little sprinkle stamp just because I like it it's adorable There we go, a little bit of confetti over on the side. And you can add a few more if you like. And there is my little happy birthday with party pandas. And here's the smaller one. If you don't like paper, all that cutting, go with the uh, colored in balloons. And also, um, I want to tell you that if you purchase uh, Stampin' Up! products during celebration. Like I said, you get a free celebration stamp set or paper or things like that from the celebration catalog, free with every $50 purchase. And I will be sending, I always send out a hand stamped thank you card to all my online customers and my in person customers as well. But I'm going to be sending out products exclusively from celebration. So someone who places a celebration order from me will get a party panda card. I usually send out a few. So you'll also get Perhaps this is a really beautiful one from the Celebration Catalog, and I'll have a video on this one soon. It's a really pretty flower stamp. There's a really pretty peacock stamp. There's so many beautiful stamps to, to um, choose from in this catalog, and you're going to love it. So check it out at bestpapercuts.com. Thank you so much for watching my Party Panda video. Have a good day. Bye.